What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today me and Hayward are exploring an abandoned mansion here in Dallas that was uh, abandoned due to a tornado that completely ravaged this whole neighborhood. So uh, we're going to walk around and see what we can find. massive home. Wow, this table does not look cheap. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful table. I guess no one's been able to get it out of the building because it's way too heavy. This is a pretty impressive kitchen. Look at that, uh, the vent. Oh, yeah. They must have had some really high dollar range right there. And then we have these premium materials. Yeah. This must be marble. Yeah, I don't think it's granite. A little cleaning is good as new. This is like a certified ballroom. Yeah, that's what I was pointing out. It looks badass. This isn't stuff you buy at IKEA, folks. This is legit certified flooring right here. It's beautiful. I guess that was their entertainment center. I bet you they had some crazy cool system right here set up. Oh, yeah, wow. I guess if you're rich, you can have as many kitchen. No, this was a laundry room. There's a connection for the, the connections for it. Are you sure it's not a dishwasher? No. The yeah, the dry rows. Man, they spared no expense here. Everything premium materials. Nice faucets as well. Very old. Like a hospice, right? Sort of deal. Wow, dude. The details everywhere, and this was locked for some reason. I think you might be right. This is where uh, the help possibly lived in. Oh, this is gross. That's disgusting. That's someone's cast. There's blood, dried blood in it. This section or this whole wing of the oh wow yep everything look the help button should someone have to pay you for you to lick that or put your tongue on it once how much you got? <laughs> what you got? <laughs> Looks like their furnace. Yeah, someone pulled out on the piping. Dude, this place is ridiculously big. Another kitchen? Right around the corner from the other kitchen. There's like a hundred chimneys here. <gasps> this needs to go where it belongs. Oh, there's already a key in there. Oh yeah, there's gas, gas range fireplace. Is this a VoIP phone? Oh, dude. Yeah, this was like the the helper's quarters or something. Yeah. See, because you could page the sitting room. Julie kitchen, Julie door. So this is, because they have a VoIP phone here, this, this was probably some helper. 
I bet you they were so elderly that it turned into be uh, hospice care. That's what happened. Yeah, because they got the the pager and everything. So they probably passed away. More than likely, yeah. Hopefully, it supports us. Oh, I'm making well, I mean, I wouldn't have the rest of it before I go the stairs. Yeah. And to add to the amount of kitchens in this place, there's like five million kitchens here. So many kitchens. Wow. Looks like they tried to rip out the oven here. I'm sure they got what they needed. Just another room. To show you what kind of nice neighborhood this is. Look at that. It's beautiful. Wow. Literally, like I said before, they spared no expense. Everything's just premium materials, beautiful faucets. Here's the shower head. And these uh, toilets, I'm pretty sure they're not very cheap either. You need the crank crank mechanism. Yeah, Somebody proved me wrong. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of cool. It's a yeah, it's a railroad track. You know these aren't cheap. What do you say, like over two grand right here? This is a gigantic whatever this is. I guess like you said, this was a game room. It's huge. It keeps going and going. I guess they were the Hartmans. Oh yeah. Wow. Look at that attic. Wow, this is ginormous. There's brand new materials everywhere. As you can see, that's where the Texas tornado took out the roof. Or a portion of it. There's way more damage than this here. What's funny is that my camera recognizes the face as a real face. file room I'm assuming like a different youtuber said just like the warranty receipts for their equipment and whatnot I know elderly people keep a receipt for everything Looks like they Probably up in Aspen a lot. oh yeah I look more uh, laundry hookups another kitchen this place had like a hundred kitchens Yeah, you you have your uh, sandals there. Yeah. Oh, looks like there's another explorer here. Here's a headlamp uh, headband. Miscellaneous stuff. That looks like a nasal spray, so I'm not even gonna dare touch that. We have no idea what this person had. Yeah. I'm sure it was clean before the tornado. Really sad to see, man. Just all their stuff thrown out everywhere. Oh, wow. Dude, this is Scarface status. Yeah. 
Look at this. You can shower with your elderly wife in there. Oh yeah, you can both sit in here just fine. Oh, you can get three people in here. It's <laughs> nuts. Wow. And then some stagnant water just freaking shoots out at me. I'm getting a temperature warning. Yeah, look at this. All marble, dude. This is high roller stuff right here. Do you think y'all go from going from that house? Super happy. To your dream just coming down like this. One storm, that's all it takes. A hotel labeled as completely air conditioned, so I'm gonna do some research on this hotel, see if it even exists anymore. Cause that's how uh, that's how they advertised the Baker Hotel back then. Completely air conditioned. Cause back then a lot of hotels just didn't have it. Yeah, Baker was the first air conditioned hotel in Texas, I believe. Yeah. Really cool to see two of them here, two of these postcards. They just never made it to a recipient. Check out this Cadillac pamphlet from 1981. The Coupe de Ville Fleetwood. Oh, the pages are stuck. I guess that's as far as we're gonna go, folks. Pretty cool though. This is pretty cool. Pan America, 1961, Bermuda, flight log. I'm sure they had a chandelier there at one point. So the beautiful details on the cabinetry. Very nice. Must touch the buttons. They all work satisfactory. Yeah, so the owners of this house in our master bedroom Right next to it, they have their own private, probably like movie room or something. And if we get closer to the chimney here, I believe this may have been um, been one of the owners or maybe their grandkids. Really sad, but I'm glad uh, whoever propped it up here didn't destroy it. Directly across from this wing is the other wing. Oh yeah, they had a great view out here. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Oh, looks like the tornado got to this section. Let's see straight daylight. Another fireplace stat on to the 50 million ones they had. Dude, this was probably freaking super high tech at one point. Just under all this dirt. There's beautiful white marble tile. Yeah, because this whole, uh, in, the, in the for sale pictures, this whole place was just marble, right? Pure marble everywhere. And now it's... wood. Yeah, you, look, you can still see the marble. It's still there, just under all this debris. No, this is rock solid. Yeah, this ain't the cheap stuff. Crazy. Be, uh, open for a second. Oh, okay, that's fine. 
I don't think anyone expects this. Oh, that ain't that bad. Shit, if anything, we're more open on this side. Oh, wow. If you were sleeping here, probably would have been a, wouldn't have been too good of a time. Another entrance yeah, to the attic. Oh, Christmas stuff. I was wondering where you were. Oh, dude. Shout out to my friend Kristen from Let's Go to the Mall. There's an old uh, Foley's shopping bag, Christmas edition. Check that out. This appears to be more uh, attic space. With all the room they had up here, they could have definitely made another room. And even for the attic, they still had these amazing door handles. They spared no expense. Yes. That. Oh man, that breeze. So inviting. This is their, uh... You know, it's a big garage, but you would expect for a house this big for it to be at least like a four or five car garage. I mean, you can, it's pretty standard to find three car garages nowadays. Or tall, I should say. That is old. Yeah. That's like 80s. <laughs> this was their uh, luggage, looks like. Well, you know these guys had money. I mean, they have magazines for private jets. All right, guys, that's the end of our exploration. I hope you liked it. Uh, please check out my other YouTube videos. If you would like to see more stuff like that, please like and subscribe. Also, go check out Haywire's channel. I'll leave his link down in the description for y'all to check out. So uh, we're out of here.